Hi, and welcome to the Banker's View from Money 2020 Europe here in Copenhagen. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and this View From series is really highlighting women in payments and innovation. So I'm very happy to be joined by Sarah Clark, who is General Manager of Identity at MyTech Systems. Thanks so much for joining us today, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about MyTech Systems and what kind of pain points it addresses for financial services firms? Yeah, absolutely. At MyTech, our flagship product is called Mobile Verify. And Mobile Verify solves for identity verification. And the main use cases we work with financial services firms on are onboarding of new customers, as well as allowing their end users to transact payments or money transfers. And it's a really exciting time because Mobile Verify actually solves for numerous pain points all at once. Um, one of the big themes at Money 2020 this year has to do with regulations. They continue to grow, and it's critical that financial services firms are compliant with know your customer regulations. So that means it's imperative that they know the identity of the person on the other end of a transaction, such as signing up for an account or processing a payment. Mobile Verify helps solve for that. Related to that is fraud. So as banking and financial transactions have gone digital, no surprise, so has fraud. We've seen measured increases in fraudulent account openings through digital channels. So as financial firms embrace the, the digital trend, it's important that they keep fraud levels at the same or lower than they are today, and Mobile Verify helps solve for that. Lastly is user experience. So you need to do all of that while offering a best-in-class user experience through mobile and through digital. It's a real differentiator if you can do that. Mobile Verify also focuses on user experience. So compliance, fraud, user experience, and ultimately we help drive top-line growth by solving for those pain points. Okay, because there's this huge sort of growth in the whole mobile commerce, mobile payments uh, area. Sort of what are the biggest challenges you think that banks are facing? You talked a little bit about fraud, obviously compliance. What are the other things? Yeah, I mean, in general, just the question of knowing who you're dealing with on the other end of a mobile or a digital transaction is a pain point, and doing so in a way that you're meeting end user expectations, which are fast real-time and seamless. So Mobile Verify allows an end user to scan their ID document, take a selfie, very simple user experience, but in conjunction, it's really increasing the level of security through identity confidence. So it's shifting away from asking a user a bunch of cumbersome questions um, to identify who they are and shifts it towards using the really fun features of the mobile device, the camera, taking a selfie in order to identify who they are, but it's a more secure method in term, and also more usable from a mobile user experience perspective. Excellent. Thanks so much. And, and you're here at Money 2020. What, do you, what is sort of your big takeaways do you, that you want to get from this conference? Um, there's a lot of exciting tracks. I mean, first and foremost, I'm here to meet with my customers so we can continue to bring them products and services that meet their needs. Um, there's uh, numerous tracks and sessions on artificial intelligence. Uh, our platform is built on the latest in machine learning and deep learning. That type of technology has become really mature over the last few years um, and is part of the rise of reg tech providers. So of course I'm interested in hearing about the latest and greatest from others in that space. Um, and then of course there's a lot about regulations and compliance. Uh, AML4 directive comes into effect today. Uh, AML5 is on its heels. We have PSD2. You know, an alphabet soup of regulations are coming up and these create a Additional pain points and at my tech we're always looking for how we can continue to help our customers uh, solve for that while creating great mobile user experiences. So why is reg tech such a big topic? You talk about all these different ones coming in. Yeah. Do you think that's really going to sort of, uh, have we reached the tipping point for regulations do you think and how does reg tech really help uh, for banks to comply? Um, absolutely. I mean, there's so many new regulations, and these are these are needed. They're solving real problems. Um, the recent AML regulations, for example, are um, solving for gaps with respect to the use of financial instruments for nefarious reasons, such as the Paris bombings. Um, so they're important regulations, but there's a lot of them. 
Um, and it's really reached a tipping point where it's no longer feasible for a bank to solve for this through manual processes. It's very expensive, it's very inefficient, and it doesn't meet the expectations of a seamless digital user journey. So the rise of reg tech really has to do with that issue, right? If you print out all the regulations a bank needs to comply with, it's the Eiffel Tower times two. I mean, it's, it's insane, right? So um, you can't solve that manually. Um, and on the flip side, the technology used by many reg tech providers, such as deep learning, such as machine learning, has really become mature biometrics. Um, so it just makes a lot of sense at this point in time to start solving for these additional regulations by outsourcing to reg tech providers, such as my tech, who really specialize in solving a key component of that solving it well, making it easy with cloud platforms, easy APIs. Um, the two uh, are converging to now being the time that RegTech has become really a hot topic and a necessary uh, for banks to continue to scale. Okay, great. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sarah. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure.